Maybe, I think is the answer. I mean, let's look at what we do know, you know, for sure. We're fairly certain at this point that it was that extremely heavy rainfall that caused these holes to open up in the first place. So that's why I wanted to talk to an expert and ask, you know, what could potentially happen if this storm comes in and dumps a whole lot more rain on this area? Is that area now more susceptible to a storm like Dorian to reactivate sinkhole activity? Uh, you know, only statistically because you've got so many sinkholes already manifested in that area. Obviously, there's something going on. Nick Albergo is a professor of civil and environmental engineering at USF. And before that, he owned a local engineering firm that did a lot of sinkhole evaluation, assessment and remediation. But clearly there's a number of caverns that are interconnected in that area. And, and this is why you see such a concentration of them right now. And if that's the case, then certainly bringing in more and more rain could as well wind up manifesting in more, more sinkholes in that area. But in general, sinkholes form fairly randomly throughout our state. Uh, it can happen anywhere. Now, yes, I mean, it can happen anywhere, but the reason it happens so often here in Pasco County is because that limestone layer that's critical to the formation of sinkholes is so incredibly shallow here throughout Pasco County. Now, I also asked Albergo, what can we possibly do preemptively, proactively on the front end to try and preempt or prevent a sinkhole? The short answer is not a whole lot. I'll tell you why coming up at six o'clock.